Hello everybody, it's Penny here from East Hearts Family Centre Services. Hi everybody, story time again. Have you spotted one of my story boxes? Before we have a little look in there, let's say hello to everyone. Are you ready? You know those numbers? One, two, three. Hello, Penny here. Wow, yes, my story box. I wonder what's in there. Shall we find out? see. Mm. I always feel like we're story detectives when we have a look in the box and see. I like the shape. It's a heart. Heart shows a sign of love. I wonder if that has got anything to do with our story. <gasps> oh, I've got a stone. Oh, stones. Mm. What can we do with a stone? This one's a big one, isn't it? They can be big, they can spool, they can be smooth, they can be rough. We can find them in the garden. We might use them to cover things up, can't we? Maybe build with. Mm. So a stone, where does that come in our story? Shall we have another little peek again and see what we can see? <gasps> oh, it's a list. Oh. Oh, I thought for a minute it might be my missing shopping list. Oh, people write lists, don't they, when they have things they need to buy or things they want to do. Ah, oh, I can see it's got a big grown-up word on there, instructions. Hmm, instructions, what does that mean? Oh, thank you so much for telling me. It does, doesn't it? It's a list of things telling you how to do things and what to do. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. So, we've got a stone and a list of instructions. Hmm, what else might we have in this box? Shall we have a look? Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. Hmm, a balloon. We often have balloons when we're having celebrations, aren't we, don't we? And parties. And the balloons, they fly up high to the sky, don't they? If we don't hold on to them, that is. Oh, so very interesting clues. What do you reckon, story detectives? We've got a stone. We've got a list of instructions. And we've got a balloon. Hmm. Do you remember that story we had at Easter about when Christians remember when Jesus died on the cross, but two days later, they went to the cave and oh, that big, big stone that was in front of the cave had moved and wow, Jesus was alive again. Wow, that was a big surprise, wasn't it? And Jesus' special friends were so excited. And you know, they shared 40 special days together. What do you think they might have done? Oh, I bet they had fun, yep. Oh, I bet they did a little bit of talking. Oh, and of course they would have had special meals together. Do you like it when you've got your family and friends there? I know I do. Oh yeah, those are some of the things that they would do together. Yeah, but I know that they had a really great time together. They had some sharing time and happy times. But Jesus also had some special things he wanted to share. Now he knew that his time with his, with his friends wasn't going to be a forever time, he knew that. And he had some things that he wanted to share with them. He had his list of instructions. He wanted them to go round and travel and tell everybody about his story. He wanted them to share the stories that he had told. He wanted them to be kind to other people, show people how they could be kind to each other. He wanted everybody to look after everybody else. And I can see on this list, be kind, look after everyone, tell the world about my story, take care of each other, travel safely because I will be looking after you. Mm. Well, how do you think Jesus' Jesus's friends might have felt when he told them about that? Well, it is sad.
bad, isn't it? And wow, that's a big job he's asking them to do, isn't it? Not an easy one. But they knew they would have to say goodbye to Jesus. And they knew that he wanted them to do these special, special things and he would always be with them. So yes, it was sad to say goodbye, but he had left them, left them with a list of important instructions. Well, Jesus spoke to them and he blessed them. And then suddenly there was a big light. And as the big light shone round Jesus, he suddenly went up and up and up into the sky above the clouds. He went into the heavens, just like a balloon can do, can't it? Hmm. Well, his friends did feel sad, but Jesus had said to them, I will come back one day. And they knew they would be looked after. Hmm. That's an interesting story, that, isn't it? Christians remember when Jesus went up to heaven and it's called ascension. The word ascend means to go up, just like our balloon. Well, Jesus said to his friends one day, very soon I must go away. Don't be sad, I will come back again. Jesus to his friends, tell my story everywhere. And then as his beloved friends were standing there, Jesus went up, up, up into the sky. That's a story to have a little think about, don't you think so? So I'm going to leave you there with our balloon going up and up. And I'll talk to you and see you again soon. Bye bye.